Hi everyone, my name is George and welcome to the Anime Grove. Today we're watching the first episode of Attack on Titan Season 4. This is the last season and I'm so, so, so fucking hyped. Um, as I said in previous videos, um, I used to watch every season as it uh, aired during the original airing times, but as soon as I finished the first season, back in 2012-2011, I'm not sure, I had to start the manga, so I started reading it, and although I loved the story, I wasn't too sold on the art. I think I caught up to date when I was reading it, or at least up to the chapter that the website I was reading at, uh, actually showed me. It was uh, about the end of the third season, the first part of the third season. Uh, as I said before, I was watching all of it as it aired, but when season 3 part 2 came out, I wasn't that interested into it. I still was really interested into it, really interested in it, but I was really busy. I wasn't that much into anime at that time, so I actually didn't watch it, and I had no idea what happened in it. When I started this uh, uh, this anime channel, I saw that uh, season 4 was soon to be started, so I said, mm, shit, we need to get up to date so we can watch it as it comes out. So I decided to watch, uh, to binge all of the second part of the third season, and to upload it to YouTube. Um, it blew my mind. I never expected so much to be explained and so much to happen during this last part of the third, of the third season. But I fell in love. I completely fell in love. Um, the whole show went up almost two whole points in my score. But... I wonder how it will all end. I don't know if this will be a 12 season, a 12 chapter, a 12 episodes season, a 25 episode season, if it's going to be two parts, uh, if it's all going to be one whole season, I have zero idea, but because I haven't even watched the trailers since, as I don't like watching openings because I don't want to spoil myself, I don't want to watch uh, any trailers because of the same reason. Trailers showed you stuff that when appears uh, eventually in the show won't hype you up as much as it would if you hadn't watched, uh, if you hadn't seen it first. So... Uh, I think that's it. I can't even wait to watch this. Um, I made it very clear last season that my favorite characters were Erwin and Reiner. And even though Erwin is not with us anymore, uh, any longer, I would have loved Erwin to be the one to be injected, not Armin. But in any case, I think Armin is still a pretty intelligent character, a smart guy who will maybe live up to Erwin's shadow. So I could continue speaking about it um, for a complete hour, but that's not the the thing here. So without any further delay, let's just run, let's just jump right into it. This is not a market substitute, so grab your legal copy and watch it along with me. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more content in this channel. And now, without any further ado, let's get into Attack on Titan Season 4 Episode 1 or Episode 60 in the whole show. Let's get into it. Shit, I'm so nervous. Are they going to attack? The Marleyan Kingdom now? Who is this? Is this Reiner? Was that a shot? Yes, those are shots. Uh, that's an 
Eldian. I think those people are Eldians because they have the ban uh, the armbands. The that uh, Grisha and Faye, his sister, had to wear when they were uh, young, but. This little fella's band is yellow instead of grey. Why is that? Falco. And this is his brother. Fuck. Marco. Uh, Falco and Colt. Oof. They did manage to drag them inside. I thought they wouldn't make it. Are these Eldians fighting for the Kingdom of Marley? Yeah, I guess these are Marleyans because they're calling them Eldians as an insult. Wait. Who even is this? I mean, in the present, the person fighting the titans, who was this? Who was it? They were on what? Who are they fighting? He reminds me of Jan. Don't he don't hit him with a grenade. What if it just goes off? So ah uh, maybe the one with the armbands the yellow armbands are the warrior candidates. Only one of them will become a warrior, right? Wait, so they're fighting the the aliens. The I think they're fighting the people within the walls because they fight. They're trying to retake Paradise Island. So it might even be the present, but the successor of the armored Titan. There are two options here. This is either happening now, and this person has succeeded Reiner in being the vessel for the Armored Titan, or this is the past and this is the person who was the Armored Titan before Reiner. Uh, maybe they just consider Reiner wasn't fit for it anymore because when Reiner was talking to Sieg and Berthold during last season, before their fight uh, against the scouts, uh, when Reiner showed himself doubtful, uh, Sieg said, we can fight over this, but if you lose again, you will have to uh, give the armor titan the armor back, and give the armor up. I think he means uh, the armor titan power, but I'm not sure, so maybe they felt too disappointed on Reiner and this is the successor, or he might even be his predecessor. Gabi, Falco, Uto, uh, Udo, Udo. I can't remember the name of the Udo, the one with the glasses. She's like first season Eden. She's got noble ideas, but. Hatred is fueling her. Are they going to use them as fodder? To use the Eldians as fodder? Jo and Cart. Galliard and Pig. Are those two warriors and the name of the Titans, maybe? That showed up. 
and where is Fort Slava? That's what I don't get. Is this the past and is this Paradise Island? Or is it happening right now in another place? But does it have to hit it in the nape? I guess. So this is the present. Because he's saying they already lost the Colossal and the Female Titan. So first of all, Annie is actually called the Female Titan. Which... Uh, is it only because he keeps her uh, female traits as a titan or is it because she's a female because Ymir is also a female therefore the ballerina titan could also be called the female titan or is it just because as I said it retains her female assets uh, because Ymir doesn't when she transforms Okay, so I think now I get it. The person with the red armband was actually Rainer, and he is going to be eaten. They're looking for the replacement for Rainer, the new armored titan, and they're choosing him from these four. I think 800 Eldians are going to die because he doesn't respect them. Just for being Eldians. The Marleyans are so infuriating. Their complete disregard for the Eldian lives. It's, it just makes my blood boil, man. So the armored titan and the Beast Titan are around here, but they said those are the only two Titans they have. Do they mean they have here? Because if I'm not wrong, they should be in possession of Ymir and the Luggage Titan still. Um, but I don't know. I guess we'll see. He is the chosen successor of the Beast Titan. So whenever Sig dies, he's going to succeed him, right? No. I don't mean to insult your intelligence, but I don't think just tying a lot of uh, grenades together is like a revolution revolutionary invent, but They don't even care about their lives. At least she's extremely brave. Is she his daughter or something? It would be so brutal if they just killed her. She knew they were going to see the grenades. She actually did it. Mm. But I mean, I don't want to take any credit from this girl, but those Marleyans aren't too clever if they just hadn't come up with if they just hadn't came up with that simple idea who is this? wait is this another beast titan? Galliard no but I don't think this is a beast titan Ooh, I think this is the new Valerina Titan. Did they eat Ymir? I mean, that Galliard was definitely the Beast Titan then. So, is Sig dead? Because 
I mean, they said that they only had two titans there, the Beast Titan and the Colossal, the Beast Titan and the Armored Titan. So this Galliard seemed must be one of those two. Uh, his body shape actually reminded me way more to uh, the Ballerina Titan, especially because he's rather small, but and the Beast Titan is huge, but I guess this might be just an effect of being a different vessel or I don't know man, I don't know, I don't know if Galliard is not one of these two I'm sorry I'm stopping it every five damn seconds but I seem to see now that it's impossible that Galliard is one of these two, he has to be then either the uh, Ballerina Titan or the Luggage Titan. And I guess he's the Ballerina Titan, which leaves very little room for uh, Ymir to be alive. So now they can bring their Titans out. But if he's the Ballerina Titan, why is there a bone in his face, like some kind of mask? Yeah, this is the Luggage Titan. Why are they retreating? I don't think the Marleyans would give the order for the Eldians to retreat even if they were all going to be slaughtered. What are they even doing? Why are they like this? Wait, so the Beast Titan can actually scream to the Eldians to turn them into pure Titans? Are you for real? But wait, maybe this is big brain, maybe this is extremely small brain, but they seemed like brain dead before they were launched, before they dropped, they seemed... One of them seemed like to be drooling, many of them were completely grinning, but in a strange way, I mean, I didn't grasp uh, any conscience from them, but it might just actually be the way they shot it and the way they drew it, but I don't know, man, it gives me the vibes that maybe they were pure titans that were somehow reverted back to humans by the beast titan and once again transformed into titans by six scream but shit there's so many things we don't know whoa i mean this makes me think why didn't the people within the walls just develop this kind of cannons to get rid of the titans, but that just comes out into two different answers. One of them is they probably didn't have enough resources to do so, or enough technology, because uh, they are pretty back in time, uh, they are pretty undeveloped compared to the Merleyan kingdom. And second, uh, they probably didn't actually want to, I mean, the higher-ups, because uh, if they were into the whole complot, they wouldn't want humanity to recover their uh, lost territories, but they want humanity to be locked within the walls so they can be unfair and rule over them without any regard for their lives, given their class, uh, their society best based heavily, given that their society is heavily based on classes and mm, noble well, in any case uh, these are incredibly powerful cannons that just make me wonder why do they even use those shitty cannons back in the walls the kinetic bombardment. 
half died on impact. They probably hit their nips on the walls or the buildings, maybe. Is he having flashbacks? PTSD? You all this looked so sick. You can tell the difference between the studios because he looks actually pretty different than he did before, especially the hair. Yeah, actually, they do. Is there another train? Whoa, if they lose the armor titan now they would probably just get another one <laughs> let's be honest uh, I mean it would be hard but they would probably just somehow get him to be reborn into one of the LDN recruits yo Galliard looks so dope man he looks incredible. And Rainer's beard. That's a quality point. Yo! Why do you even need soldiers if you can just drop these two inside the walls and just annihilate everyone inside? I'm obviously joking, I know it's just to keep the titans safe, but they're so strong. So if I got it right, I think I did, uh, this war, uh, them trying to conquer Fort Slava, if I didn't catch the name wrong, is uh, a way to further their uh, power and their control over the land they live at, uh, establishing new uh, garrisons and conquering new kingdoms, so they can actually re-attack the people within the walls in a near future, in order to scout for the not to scout but to gather their resources and take them back to Marley. That's what I get. So this is not. Uh, related at all to the people within the walls, but this is a an expansion world they're trying to carry out until they're stronger and they can fight again against the the people within the walls. Are those explosives? Yo, I thought he was going to throw these possibly explosive kegs over that city? Is that a, a populated city? Okay. So I think... Wait, what? <laughs> ah! He did throw them to the boat, throw them at the boats, which I'm glad of, but fuck, Rainer had to cover for him. This dude is like a catapult. Such destructive power. Is he dead? Fuck! Did he just sacrifice himself? Just to cover for Zeke? Shit, man! I know that's his role, but... Fuck, if he died... Just like that... I'm going to be so pissed, because Attack uh, on Titan has been... Disregarding its character's deaths lately so hard... That it makes me sad, because... Marlo's death uh, was completely unceremonious, and... 
not even glanced over. Um, if Rainer is just has just died, it would also be a, a completely unceremonious death. Uh, I mean, I wasn't even sure if Marlo was dead. Um, what else? Uh, Berthold's death was, although sad, pretty quick, pretty short. Uh, we didn't even actually get to soak into the emotions, but let's just see. I'm not sure if Rainer's dead actually, so let's check. Thanks to the bravery of the Marley army, not to the Eldians. Look at how they changed the information. Who was that person? He kind of remind me, reminded me of a mix between the Owl and Kenny, but I have no idea, we actually didn't get to see most of his face. Thank you so much for uh, coming and for watching this video alongside with me. Um, the hype was real, the hype was met. Uh, we got to see, first of all, the Leverage Titan in his fight mode the war mode, uh, he was completely equipped to be some kind of war horse. Uh, he looks like a, like a tank, <laughs> he's incredible, but the one I like the most is um, Galliard, I think he was called, and uh, being honest, I think given the titans they are on pa they are on possession of Galliard probably ate Ymir uh, that sucks incredibly because um, Ymir was cool and this is another one of those deaths that I'm not sure if it's an actual death because I we didn't actually get to see Ymir get eaten or or we didn't get confirmation on her being dead, but if they did kill her and they didn't even tell us, that would make me, make me really sad. In any case, uh, it was a fantastic episode. I had forgotten six raw strength and the sheer destructive power of the Beast Titan. Uh, although now I'm... Uh, I don't know if Rainer's going to be okay, if we are meant to understand he died now, if we're going to be told in the next episode. I'm so nervous for all of this. Uh... <sighs> so Marley stopped the war against the people within the walls to expand their territory. They finally they were finally able to uh, stop the war between them and the Middle East blah 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 I didn't actually catch the name of the nation but they actually surrendered after uh, the Marleyans took down Fort Slava uh, does that mean it's been four years since the end of the first season, the last season, because Rainer seems way older, he seems way more mature, especially with his beard, but let's not forget his, uh, let's not forget this is a new studio and the characters are not quite similar, so for example the looks on the armored titan was, were completely different, I actually even uh, thought that the CGI in this season reminded me a bit of Ken and Ashura's CGI but that's completely fine, I get the need of using CGI for the Titans, especially with such quality animation <sighs> I guess that's it, thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did I hope. Thank you so much for visiting my channel and I hope to see you all in the next video Peace out.